Yeah, it's been raining really heavily here in Denver. We started to see a little bit of a break. There was a big wave of really intense rainfall for us. We had some lightning earlier today. Quick little thunderstorm uh, just around 1 o'clock that produced some small hail for us. We're starting to get a break, though, down in the southern part of the state, of course, where we've been talking about all day. There was some heavy rain and lightning there, too, but now starting to see that ease on up. Down into our southeastern part of the state, we actually have a tornado watch in place through 9 o'clock tonight because there is a chance still for some thunderstorms to pop and potentially to turn severe and could even turn it into tornadoes. The better chance for that, though, will be down a little bit more to our south. We have had rain in this area, a couple quick thunderstorms, scattered showers on the western side of the state. There's been some snow in the high country, uh, big weather today in parts of Texas uh, into, into the Oklahoma panhandles and then all the way up into parts of Kansas. You can see that streaming up that direction. And part of that is thanks to this area of low pressure swinging a lot of that up that way. And we're looking at some heavy rainfall and really unsettled weather for the next couple of days thanks to that system. So we are looking at that to pass through Colorado starting overnight tonight and then through Thursday. Again, that moisture is swirling around. We're looking at wet weather through Thursday night and potentially some really heavy snowfall in some areas. But let's time out our future cast for tonight. We're going to continue to see some rain out there and some snow in some spots. Early tomorrow morning, it's foggy once again for the eastern plains, maybe even some rain. And then we're starting to see things ramp up on the western side of the state. And this will just fill in more throughout the afternoon and evening. We have a chance for rain around 3 o'clock here in Denver with snow. Heavy snow at times in parts of the high country and maybe even into the foothills and then we'll just be uh, continuing to see that wet weather well into the night and then overnight Wednesday into Thursday we're going to at some point see that change over to snow here in Denver and there may be a couple inches of wet sloppy snow mainly in some grassy areas but south side of town you may pick up a bit up a bit more and uh, out tonight out on our eastern plains Yuma Kit Carson Cheyenne counties already under a dense fog advisory visibility very low already out there and that fog will stick around through tomorrow morning but we also have winter storm watches and winter weather advisories from Wednesday night through Thursday. Some of our northern mountains could see up to a foot of snow areas near the tunnels, Breckenridge, uh, down in parts of our southern foothills, and then areas uh, up to our northwest may see five to ten inches, but big snow possible in southern Colorado. Uh, some of our eastern San Juans into the Telluride area, 10 to 20 inches of snow, and some of our areas of our San Gritto Cristos and North San Gritto Cristos could see up to two feet of snow and then areas uh, like Crested Butte could see up to 14 inches of snow. So again, big storm coming through, heavy wet spring snow on the way. Front Range Eastern Plains cool today, 48 in Denver right now, 50 in Greeley, low 40s out in our northeastern plains, 50 60s heading towards the south uh, east, 51 in Frisco right now, but 68 in, uh, in Avon, 73 in Grand Junction, 70 in Craig right now. So there is some warmer weather, it's just not quite here in eastern Colorado. 47 from our weather watcher Tom in Centennial, and he said he's at about 6 10 of an inch of rain since last night. 50 degrees here downtown right now and checking in with our almanac 57 out at DIA so running a below our average of 68. Tonight you're looking at 40 in Denver, 41 for Fort Collins and into Greeley and Boulder. Uh, low 40s, upper 30s for the eastern plains. Lots of 20s and 30s in the high country and then 30s to the 50s off to our west. And tomorrow we're even cooler. 43 in Denver, 44 in Fort Collins. Low to mid 40s out east, 40s in the high country and looking at our five day forecast. 46 on Thursday, chance for rain or snow in the morning, rain in the afternoon, and then we slowly start to dry out by Friday and then into the weekend. We are in the 60s and low 70s, so it should be nice again in time for Mother's Day. What a